Hello, welcome back to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight, we have a lineup of documentaries about the movie business. Up next, it's another TCM premiere, a doc about the movie-going experience. From director April Wright in 2019, Going Attractions, the definitive story of the movie Palace. At the end of the First World War and throughout the 1920s, theater chain owners and movie studios began hiring architects to design and build these grand movie theaters, movie palaces, they were called. These buildings were designed specifically to look like opulent palaces and cathedrals in Europe. Totally, totally, totally unlike modern multiplexes, the early movie palaces featured one big screen in downtown neighborhoods across the country. Typically, the venues could seat hundreds, sometimes thousands. The idea was to create a space that would draw the community together and make the experience of going to see a picture as exciting and memorable as the film itself. We don't sell tickets to movies. We sell tickets to theaters, said Marcus Lowe, a theater magnet who owned the Lowe's theater chain. So many of us are missing the experience of going to the movies, sitting in a theater with friends, family, even our enemies during this pandemic. And this doc offers a brief escape into some of the finest theaters in the country, many of them still around today, thanks to the preservation efforts of communities and movie lovers. From 2019, with much of the story told by a great friend of TCM's, film historian and critic Leonard Malton, here is Going Attractions, the definitive story of the movie Palace. April Wright wrote, produced, and directed Going Attractions, the definitive story of the movie Palace. It's something of a sequel to her 2013 documentary, Going Attractions, the definitive story of the American Drive-In movie. It can also be seen as something of a prequel, since the movie Palaces predated the drive-ins, and the drive-ins represented a new business model for exhibitors as the appeal of movie Palaces started to fade. Wright's 2013 film traces the story of drive-ins from their inception in 1933 through their peak in the late 1950s when thousands of movie theaters, drive-in theaters, operated in towns and suburbs across the country. Wright's third film about the movies, Stunt Women, The Untold Hollywood Story, a look at the history of stunt women in the business, premiered earlier this year, It's Quite Good. In the interests of transparency, I appear in that film briefly, helping to lead a conversation with actress Michelle Rodriguez about the risks taken by brave stunt women during the silent era. You can stream the film online. Up next, a look at watching movies through the eyes of one of America's most influential film critics, Pauline Kael. 